Love is a beautiful thing. Wow, guys. Nollywood actors and actress are now falling in love for each other. Wow, my people. A very big congratulations to our actor, Eddie Watson, and beautiful actress, Mimi Ojegu. Guys, <laughs> the matter just is sweet for the internet space. Say both of them found love in each other. Wow, 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 guys. As they talk um, or anywhere you see your love make you go for um guys before we go deliberate on this issue make I throw away salute to all my returning subscribers. When you don't make this channel, Bazi News is a successful one. God bless you all massively. And I don't take your love and support for granted. And if you never still subscribe, I beg support your girl, smash on the subscribe button, and always remember to put up the post notification bell so that anytime I upload any latest updates, you will get notified and be the first to watch. Guys, Nigerians, the online in-laws, and savage commenters say, this is more to a movie. Oh, say this one not be movie again, but love. Before I go begin the deliberate and they read some comments from the commenters. One thing when I won't talk be say this life it not really matter anywhere when you for find your love. Not be first time when actor they get married to an actress. So therefore, after all, this our beautiful actress Mimi she's single though she's a single mom, and a. According to reports and the rumor when they circulate for the internet space, say, Eddie Samuel Obang, I mean Eddie Watson, nasty single man, though he was married but now divorced. So if actually love, the connection go between both of them, why not if not, if they can't get married? My people, now very beautiful thing to find love. And as I always say, anywhere you find your love, just go for it because love is a beautiful thing. Eddie Samuel Obang Watson Jr. is a Liberian-born Ghanaian actor and producer. He received his first Ghanaian movie award in the year 2014 and his film Ebola, which he wrote and directed and produced. The 42-year-old actor has found love in our beautiful actress Mimi Ojegu. As people don't begin celebrate both of them for the comment session. Well, guys, this indeed not good news. After all, like I said, Mimi was once married as well. She has a beautiful daughter. She is also divorced from her ex-husband. Make I take her back to even when Mimi celebrated her birthday two months ago. And Eddie Watson wrote, Happy birthday, sweetheart. You know I love you a whole lot. You deserve the very best this life has to offer. Have a blast in your Paris. More blessing. And Mimi answered or, or replied, Oh, thank you, boo. I love this post. Like, guys, a lot of people, according to how they, they talk and say, this is more to just a movie or colleague, as both of them has found love in each other. And guys, eh, i so much happy for Mimi because sometimes, according to how bloggers, they carry her name up and down, based on say she's one of the successful Nollywood actresses. Like she's really doing well for herself. And that one can make people tag as sources to sugar daddy or let me say sponsors. Like say na person eh, they bankroll her. So na see and say, really, if Mimi actually come up, say she has found love in our actor Eddie Watson. Really, a lot of people would be so happy for her. Well, make I take few of the comments from our busybody online in-laws. You guys will really make a perfect and good couple and your children will be so very beautiful and handsome. Anyway, I'm happy to see you both together. Love, oh, this one don't pass movie. Another commenter wrote, Both of you look so good together and we make a nice couple. I cried when I watched your video with her. Another commenter, is like they are dating for real. You look good together. You can see as well, it's official. This Ame Bodiri Aproko commenter wrote, Yes, guys, don't you know they are lovers? Mimi has been dating Eddie for more than two years now. 
So stop the pretense. So stop the pretense and wish them well. So guys, according to how the matter they go, everybody just they happy and they congratulate them because after all, no be bad thing to consider say two Nollywood actors are getting married. So now very good thing to celebrate them so that at least more beautiful couples we go they get from the industry. Mimi Ojogu, born 14th of July 1987, is one of Nigeria's shining actresses. She is also an entrepreneur, a brand influencer, a model, and a fashion designer. She is popularly known for her character role in the year 2016, movie titled From Free Town. She played the role of a girl named Inme. She has won several beauty pageants, including Miss African Queen and the Focus Face of the Year Award. She is the owner of FBM Homes and Interiors and has a beauty range named Flawless. Mimi Ojugu is rated one of the most beautiful, gifted, skillful, creative, and highly talented Nollywood actress, known for her good interpretation of movie roles. Actress Mimi Ojugu was married before to her ex-husband, Mr. Charles Pius Billion, a Nollywood director and actor. They got married in the year July 2015 in her hometown, Enugu State. And guys, like I said, the marriage luckily produced a beautiful daughter before they got divorced. So guys, it's a beautiful thing to congratulate these two lovebirds, actor Eddie Watson and beautiful actress Mimi Ojigu, as they found love again in each other. So guys, drop your congratulatory message at the comment section. Make Kuna know, say that our Nigeria... People, they when be say they get in our eyes when they be say that they see what thing they happen. As they let us know, say this is more to a movie. Both of them are lovers. Like eh, we kuna expect the wedding bell anytime soon. So guys, this is Nabazi news. God bless you massively. Stay tuned for more entertainment gist. And always remember to put up the post notification bell so that anytime I upload any latest updates, you will get notified and be the first to watch. Guys, I beg, you get one video when I won't drop and I won't make on a listing because this is not great awareness so that you won't fall a victim. It is very, very important. Please share it out. I beg my people, anywhere you find yourself on no account, must you share your mobile data, aka hotspot with strangers. Never, ever, ever share your mobile data with a stranger. Listen to my experience. I went for an occasion. A lady that was sitting at the same table with us was asking, oh, who can give her um, hotspots and all that? And I said, oh, no worries, I'll give you. My friend pinched me. My friend was like, how can somebody come to an occasion and be begging strangers for uh, hotspots? I said, mm, you, you read me into so many things. So I shared it with this lady. Broom. The next day, I just got a text that 95% of my data has been used. I was shocked because usually I load 20 gigs every month and I barely use half of it and it gets rolled over into the next month upon as I do TikTok reach. I barely use it. So I was still trying to mourn that one and then my data finished. It was remaining five days before my data rollover starts. I was still trying to mourn that one that I cannot even browse. It's only when I'm at home that I can use Wi-Fi at home. I was still trying to mourn that one. Three days later, I got a call. That I got engaged in fraudulent activities that I downloaded something that is fraudulent. Hey, be koko no, hey me, hey hey hey. I didn't know when the Nigerian ness in me started. I said, what a life. Ah, I cannot take this anymore. Leave me. Let me go back to Nigeria. Ah, as I the argue, these people quoted for me where, when, and the time I downloaded the things. Lo and behold, now my friend even remind me say ah. Now the data we share give that lady. Now that lady downloads those things. So from my experience, my people, never ever share your hotspot with a stranger. Make sure say you share on with person where you know. They ask me the person name, cha. They ask me where the person they stay, cha. They ask me anything, cha. I don't know the lady. Now stranger to me. Say as I want to enter trouble. I beg go. Now beg I they beg you. No do no me maker like me. No do me madam two goody shoes like me. Go enter trouble. I beg I beg you. Well done.